About two months ago, yeah, I know I'm slow, I joined a Bravery Tourney hosted by the Great Crunchy. To some League players, the term Bravery should already be very familiar. Bravery essentially meant you get a random build and have to play it in a ranked game preferably. This could lead you to get a great build or a full shield power Lee Sin. But enough League, we all play ER to forget the trauma we got from that horrible game. Builds in ER work a bit differently than in League, so Crunchy had to change the rules a bit. All you need to know is that we get a purple or gold weapon and everything else can be blue or purple. Here are the rules if you are interested. The tourney was split into two groups, meaning the top 9 out of every group advances to the finals. For round 1 I chose Crossbow Nadine, Isol and a random character. The Nadine build I got was almost a meta build, so I was pretty happy with it until I realized that almost meta isn't good enough. Game 1 was pretty uneventful. I farmed all game and found 3 force cores which I turned into 9 remote mines. Looking at the players right now on the prep, Rick doesn't have a lot of prep, but for example Smack Dragon has 9 remote mines. Oh wow, Jesus. <laughs> And 16 Vitality as well. It's I used these mines to secure a safe zone for myself and let the others fight in the other zone. Fast forward to the final zone. It was me versus a Jenny. I can bait her. Yeah, run away. No, my E got cancelled. Fuck. I'm bad. Yep. I had a 2 frame window where I could reactivate my E and because I'm so good at the game, I hit that frame 1. I picked Isol for the second game. My first build was a crit build with no attack speed. You know, crit is pretty good, but with no attack speed it is kinda useless. So I rewrote the build and ended up with this monstrosity. Until this point I had no idea purple weapons that built into gold weapons were allowed. This build only has 46 attack power. Agni has 49 attack power, which is already more than my whole build. So my game plan was simple. Build traps and red for the entire game. I don't know how the point system works, but I think if I get 6th place, that's good. 7th place is bad. But 6th place should be fine. So I'm gonna aim for that. Okay, you wanna play your weapon? <laughs> nah, I don't think so. Like this weapon should not be allowed in this mo uh, in bravery. It, like it's so bad. So, okay, end boss. Let's go. Okay, wait. Oh, we only <laughs> only half life. Damn. <gasps> Level 14 wolves. Actually, don't, I don't know if I can fight those, wait. Okay, we ult. W. Oh, maybe. Come on. Oh. After struggling a bit more with farming animals, I ran into a Luke. Be scared of my circle. Oh, 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 no. Yo! He has 60 attack power! What? Look at me, I'm running around with 20! Jason Smug Dragon here. Isol, not the easiest character to catch here though. Okay. We got Lingan Isol. Who comes out? Double guilties are being placed. Smug Dragon trying to place quite nicely. Oh my god, trying to engage onto him. This is the Q, and he cries. Look like. Uh, under the Q, it seems like it doesn't seem very engageable for Omega. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go there. Honestly, Smug Dragon's uh, W there looked like it was healing the loot. But yeah, yeah. You know, this character actually does no damage. Does no damage because, well, he's playing IR. He yeah. has Gatling Gun. Gatling Gun has extra basic attack damage, but it's not Agni, so... Yeah. Should auto-attack one, in my opinion. Let me tell you, and the wonderful casters, how horrible Gatling Gun is as a weapon, and why stopping for normal attacks is never worth. As you can see, I'm dealing about 130 damage per second with my auto-attacks. Luke, on the other hand, would probably deal around 250 to 300 damage per auto attack. So there's no way I win by standing still and auto attacking. But for the people that still don't believe me, here's the code. Go try it and suffer. Anyways, back to the match. Why is, why, why is Wick here? Oh, go! Oh. oh! Scary man. No. He used my tactic against me. Yeah. 
ist. Oh, what is it with all these looks? No, 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 no. Oh my god. Okay. New tactic. We red gem. Oh, oh, oh. Go away. Go away. This is my corner. Okay. Don't try to get in my corner. You're gonna die. Go away. Go away from my corner. We're gonna laugh. We're gonna survive, boys. And run. Oh. And this is, this is a horror game. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let's get out. Let's get out of here. Fast, 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 fast. Ooh. Did nothing. Sajin have gold ratio bow. Okay. Ooh, my feet. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Yo, let's go. Okay. God, we got fifth. Let's go. My randomized last pick was Leon with an almost meta build again. The only problem was that I had to buy Leon for the tourney, since I have never played him and also didn't want to practice him for a tourney. And this build. This is actually probably the best build I have. Four zones. Most of these item light except the arm piece is meta. Like most of this build is actually meta, problem is just I have no idea how to play Luke. Mm. Like if I don't get a stun on him, probably trick then. No! Okay, yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, I have no idea how to play Leon. I died very early, but that doesn't matter. I qualified for the finals. Let's go! This time, I didn't want to suffer like with the Isol bird. So I picked Crossbow Nadine, Bow Nadine and Hedgen. Now you might be wondering why I didn't choose Nadine in all games, since her passive makes her the strongest char in bravery. Well, even though you can win 10 bucks, it is still a fun oriented tourney. Only sweaty weeps were try hard in a fun tourney and picked the same chart 3 times. I started out with my worst build, the Crossbow Nadine. It has no synergy at all except HP regen, which is a horrible stat. Oh, a massive fight down here, and Smug Dragon and Seether taking a fight. Smug Dragon is just gonna have to disengage. Trick, big fight against Smug Dragon and Temple as well. Smug Dragon taking a solid beating from both of from both Seether and Trick, Trick chasing. He knows he might be able to catch up if. Yeah, unfortunately for Smug Dragon here as well, he had to pop the ult first the Adriana before. So isn't gonna be able to fight there. His trick knows some of the the tricks of the trade. Well, he's gonna potentially run him down here. Don't think Trick is fast enough with just those combat boots. engaging or disengaging. Momo really knowing his strengths on these characters. We're seeing Smug Dragon and Seether going at it again. Smug Dragon looks to take the fight. He's just kind of popping out, tickles him a little bit and runs. He still hasn't finished his head beat. Test subject or Peach T jumping on the Smug Dragon here. Smug Dragon really on some copium, just having to run around the map no matter where he goes. Similar situation to Best when. Oh, ult uh, from the subject. He's actually gonna run into Seether here. Oh, oh Seether no. just barely sees it. Oh, the bridge also for the Smug is actually very awful. Seether taking some dam significant damage. The E comes out from Smug and Peach T is approaching for the kill. The bleed finishes off Smug. The sadly. The first game went horrible, but I still have two charts with good builds, so I should be able to win if I get some good games. I went with Hedgen for the second game. I got lucky and rolled an elemental bow build. 
But that didn't matter, since I died very early to Ayan. I don't know how Jan is physically able to dash through an ambulance, but what I definitely know is that he isn't using chalk for his white powder. This put me into last place. I'm not gonna lie to you, I was very disappointed in my performance and I knew I couldn't win the tourney anymore. The difference between last and first place was way too large, but before I gave up completely, I saw this message in the tourney chat. Top 9 qualify for super finals, right? Of course. Top 9 transcends into all my bravery heaven. As if a wonder happened, all my negative feelings got turned into determination. The gap between last place and top 9 was somewhat small, but if I get another bad game, I would remain at last place. I knew this was my only chance. Smug Dragon so might actually have the play of the tournament for me there. That was yeah. so impressive. This that's, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's the one. That's the one for the history of these people. Less fighting than the last game of game one because I actually like just ran out of airs and As we have and Momo land. trying to start the weaker line and he just eats a lot of damage from Smug Dragon. Smug Dragon digging a lot of damage. The desk he comes out, hits Momo, but he doesn't die. The Q is missed. Of all the characters here, I feel like Pelic is the scariest in terms of just bursting this wicker lane. Yeah. Sua has so much combo damage. He has a lot of good items for Sua too, so he can just pretty much take it for himself, in my opinion. Pelic's gonna use both E's to close the gap, trying to kill Smug Dragon here. Smug Dragon playing great footsies right now? Like, actually not getting... Actually a very good mechanical player, honestly. Pelic... Aggro in that wick lane in a really monka s spot. Oh, the Pendulum Axe comes out oh, and... Smug Dragon gets it! Takes it. I don't think Pelek's gonna let him go. Pelek with a lot of CDR on this build is, yep, Smug oh. Dragon is gonna have to go aggressive. Pelek using the E to engage in. But Smug Dragon just has so much that Smug Dragon has played that fight so perfectly. What the? But, okay, I'm wet. Uh, not even a full build character has just sidestepped everything and comboed perfectly. Smug Dragon really impressive there. What the? F okay, yep. Smug being the real oppressor over here, despite Pelek having a really good build for this. Smug yeah. just pulls through. Smug Dragon knows he needs to sidestep when he needs to sidestep. Just plays it perfectly. Yeah, like Smug just sidestepping every stone in the universe. It's, it's good some... to see, you know. Uh, yeah. Danny Manny actually fighting Smug Dragon. Smug Dragon dealing so much damage if Smug Dragon takes down Danny Manny. Don't be mine. And you guys will have to respect it. A Smug Dragon Smug engaged onto Momo. And just... This man is on the... Smug is on the last place, by the way. Yep. Mug is playing the game of his life on the last game. I mean, of course, not bias casting. Oh! That wolf of Arda comes out and Smug just shuts it down. He says that the party is over. Smug Dragon just annihilates anybody. 